Hello traders at Samurai Trader here welcome to this session how to day trade any market the $1,000 a day challenge so in these sessions I show you how to average $1,000 a day trading just two or three hours a day now as you'll see most days I've wrapped my trading up within 30 minutes if $1,000 a day is not enough we increase or you increase your position size add more contracts now what I cover in these sessions you can apply to futures Forex and or stocks uh, now there's just not enough hours in the day um, so I'm playing catch up with this session uh, traders are uh, between my personal trading my live trading rooms the live coaching room my research and development uh, let alone trying to record and prepare training sessions recorded sessions uh, I, there's always I, I'm always playing catch up so in today's session I'm going to be recording two or going through two uh, trading sessions in fact I think if I remember correctly one was straight after another one was just one trade I fired off uh, after we wrapped up the live trading room so I'm going to call this session 75 and session 76 now stick around today I'm going to be giving you some information that literally can be life changing I'm going to be talking to you about a concept I spoke to uh, my members in the coaching room today and the reaction was incredible I'm going to be talking to you today about how to really really get wealthy day trading now what actually happens most videos you watch on YouTube are just full of BS you risk 5% I'm going to be talking about a low risk or low risk strategies and how you really get there now what I cover is not going to be suitable for those that have got the mentality of get rich quick unfortunately so many traders come to me where they've already blown two or three accounts I've got um, traders that come to me that have borrowed money from the parents-in-law their retirement funds it just goes on and on it's heartbreaking in today's session I'm going to drill down and just give you a couple of simple concepts that have the true potential of changing your life from today moving forward now they say that the sign of an intelligent person is how open they are to new ideas unfortunately we become very skeptical in today's world what that means is some of the things I'm saying right now you're probably going BS uh, he's just going to show me something that won't work etc but it's a concept and a philosophy at the same time stick around we'll only go for about 30 minutes uh, and at the end of the session if you don't see the benefit of what I'm talking about you're either not a profitable trader or you never will be seriously so let's move on first of all understanding the risk there is a risk in trading and thankfully on virtually every trading platform thanks to modern technology you can trade on the simulator you trade on the simulator until you're consistently profitable and now you've got the opportunity of trading the micros particularly if you're trading either the Forex or the futures markets I used to trade I've been trading now for over 28 years used to pretty much trade full-time Forex initially then I moved over to the ES and uh, really now it's 100% the futures markets for a whole lot of reasons but the great news is you can get going day trading futures for only a few hundred dollars but I'm getting ahead of myself let's start here first of all if you're a brand new trader of trading hasn't been good to you so far you probably haven't heard about the Goldilocks rule the Goldilocks rule really states that humans experience peak motivation when they're working on tasks that are right on the edge of their current abilities uh, not too hard not too easy just right this also applies to so so um, basically this applies to the strategies or the number of strategies that you're trading but it also applies to the uh, the targets that you're setting yourself on a daily basis so many traders have been sold on five hundred thousand two thousand dollars a day per contract it is rare that day traders achieve that you'll get a few and I'm going to show you how you can actually do it realistically but you've got to put the time in 
but for a new trader it is not realistic I'm going to be showing you how to achieve realistic targets and which strategies to be using in this video so first of all you only want to really be trading one or two setups initially and have a sensible target so we'll talk about that very soon but before we do let me just give a very very quick advertisement so download um, uh, in the download link below you can request my uh, ebook for truth about day trading uh, even better still become a member what I'm about to show you the charts that I show you will make sure you don't get the charts uh, there ninja trader but you'll get all of the indicators um, uh, there are hundreds of training videos now and no you don't have to watch them all there's over I think there's 38 powerpoints there's um, over 15 16 different strategies you only focus on a couple we've got a lot of full-time professionals hence they'll trade a basket for $197 you get the works on top of that you can also attend and I give you as a gift eight free private group coaching sessions that is uh, twice a week 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Tuesdays and Wednesday evenings I run a two-hour live coaching class teaching traders uh, how to trade we cover everything from the psychology right through to how to trade from the right hand side of the chart step by step after your first month you don't sign up for it initially but after your first month it's only $97 a month uh, as a special you can continue so you've got to email me at the end of the first month and say hey I want to continue so for $197 you get the works you can join using the download link below now also please make sure you subscribe to my channel to be kept up now you forgot that so you can be kept up to date with all of my latest videos now let's now move on first of all this would be a game changer for 98% of the population oh so I want to talk to you man to man or as a man to a woman as as adults speaking here in other words removing the BS let's talk sensibly and I've got to say this because of the amount of crap I see out there this would be a game changer earning five thousand dollars a week now how do we achieve this traders as a brand new trader you want to be targeting initially only $100 a day if you're trading the big contract or on the micro which we'll discuss in a moment you want to be targeting $10 a day now as you build experience you might then jump up to 150 200 300 400 depending on the market now by having a target of only $100 a day okay it is so achievable and we're going to go to the charts and I'm going to be showing you my results and whatever and we'll go to the charts and we'll look at a, a few potential setups okay we're going to be doing that now so $100 a day if you follow the rules it is so achievable and what you're actually doing then is you're building both confidence and competence at the same time as you'll see I'm not a big trader five contracts a thousand a day I'm after only 200 per per contract but as you'll see I'm usually wrapped up within 30 minutes uh, I'm in my 60s that suits me now if you're a young gun you might have a target of um, you know could be two or three thousand dollars a day or even more now one of my members in the room just to read out exactly so this is the I won't show it all because it's got their email addresses but just there uh, from the chat room here this morning where um, uh, in the coaching room where members are able to uh, they're, they're watching me as I um, training them we're talking about this and um, uh, one of our members uh, said I love the $100 today I've been doing that consistently now for some time loving it uh, the hardest thing is to stop when I reach it greed laughing out loud now so the whole thing is initially target that as you gain and then you can switch over to the simulator then you can build from there but unfortunately greed kills and that's one of the biggest challenges with traders today now the next thing at times you know you're going to see my charts and yes there's some indicators there it doesn't matter which trading platform if I don't have the indicator I give you the settings you can basically set up what I do on any trading platform you don't have to have trade station or ninja trader mind you both great trading platforms I use indicators as a confirmation tool 
the early bird gets a worm that is if you're a pure price action trader but the second mouse gets a cheese so it can indicators can give you a wee bit of additional information however if you are a pure price action trader just using the EMAs will also give you most of the information that I require when I trade okay so very quickly let's just discuss some of the setups I took on this day so 10 minutes of day trading my target there is a thousand dollars a day three trades three wins after commissions 12 um, uh, 1222 30 okay now let's look at these now this chart may look like a mess so I've taken a screenshot we'll go to a, a chart in a moment okay so we'll go and have a look at a, um, a chart um, on the charting platform but this is a screenshot of the trades that I took and let me just give you a quick rundown on these number one as a brand new trader I really recommend all you do initially is trade with the trend yes divergence trades look fantastic usually in hindsight but this is one of the number one ways where besides money management where traders usually blow their account so what we've got up here traders is a strategy I call it the 2b see this uh, magenta line down here this is the low of the day and when I say I front run when I sell down into these areas I really want to get out before other traders do so there's a number of what we call very predictive indicators they become a self-fulfilling prophecy because so many traders trade them and I'll show you the list of those uh, in a moment so I took this traditional trend following strategy uh, a 2b short down into the pivot and I front run that and front run means I'm getting out earlier I then had a really good uh, 2d at this stage now um, this was actually uh, 9 a.m. in Frankfurt and the market really takes off so this is early morning uh, that's 2 a.m. Central Standard Time now just um, and just while I think of this uh, this is a four tick Renko on the NQ impossible to trade during the New York hours okay and even during the London hours which opens up in really an hour or so a couple of hours for London's really moving I've got to increase my time frame so before anyone says ah, oh, you can't trade that time frame you're absolutely right during New York but it's very very tradable during the Globex session now the Globex session opens up at 5 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time 6 p.m. Eastern and there is some great volume so you can get home from work from your job we all know what job stands for just over broke and you can start day trading you can start your training while you still have your job but anyway we had a 2b now there was a really nice uh, two, uh, 2d here which I didn't take but what I did take here was what we call a t10 also known as a kaching trade or a money on the floor trade been around the concepts been around for years and thank you very much now just then straight after that and that was over and done with within a minute and then I missed this beautiful 3b we call that a 3b just a, a beautiful downtrend with trend trade and uh, I, I don't know but I just wasn't focused at the time okay and that would have been a lovely move now I'm going to talk and, and we'll talk about these targets in a minute by the way I want you to remember this these are Renko bricks so so Renko in Japanese basically means bricks I call these steps I'm after normally seven steps on the market I'm trading unless I'm selling into a pivot or a low of day or a major support resistance level okay we'll talk more about that very soon now just over here I then uh, uh, went short again so I shorted here I had a 14 ticks stop here and actually there's a bit of luck here normally I'll adjust my stop and I'll put my stop uh, on the four tick one tick above the swing high but here I shorted this it actually rallied against me and then it dropped so that was a, a little bit lucky there now if I'd have been stopped there I would have been back in on this one and I would have been back on this one but anyway come down here I front run the low 
and it all worked out mighty fine so that was uh, 1222 now what we also had down here this is what we call a big picture double bottom and there was some divergence but where that was would have been particularly powerful that is for the experienced traders is on your anchor chart now let's now go to uh, and that was just before the live trading room uh, and I forgot to adjust this okay uh, this was oh no no that's right no no this is what's the live room it's all right so this was then uh, we then went in was it the same day uh, no I don't think it was no this might have been any I can't remember it was just before I started the live trading room okay so I was only on one contract now the reason I still included this is this is important because by having as you gain experience a 200 to 300 dollar a day target on the four tick uh, is very achievable for a good or let's say a good for a disciplined trader so here I racked up um, uh, uh, 325 net in 10 minutes you do want to be cautious though of trading when the market is too fast now what you can actually do if the market's ticking over you just increase your time frame now let me just cover the trades I took just here because there's a couple of really important lessons here first of all we've got a concept we call it the t12 that is where we're getting rejection off a higher time frame you will be blown away by how powerful um, uh, the 200 EMA is on higher time frames many years ago I discovered a time frame and I don't want to make it sound like any big deal but I just found a set of time frames a multiple that I use which you just get these multiple EMA bounces on multiple time frames at the same time you'd have to see it to really I'd have to show you it to, to which we'll probably look at in a moment but anyway we had a t12 just here so I took the t12 a second one so I added to my position thank you very much now I then took another t12 so what we had on a higher time frame was a higher time frame EMA was coming down I took this one and I got out basically at break even and the reason being once I hit five steps I go to break even so as I mentioned my my target is very simple as a scalper I want to get in get out get the cash register ringing so I don't trail and by the way if you trail good on you I, I just um I just want to get in and get out it doesn't mean that's correct all of the time I look back and go fruitcakes I just wish I was on that but I like to get in get out that suits my personality so uh, at five steps I got to break even got out there uh, I go to break even and that means I go to my um, uh, the my entry price plus add a couple of ticks I then had another t12 up here and surprise surprise I then got stopped out of that one I then jumped in on this trade now what I've got there is a beautiful trend trade here we call this a fanning of the EMAs by the way traders that's what this is called so see how the EMAs is now fanning this is the safest form of trading when you get a flat 200 and a flat 89 unless you're really experienced you just want to sit on hands now if you look at this here that's only over um, seven minutes and then the market started to trend so most of the time if you're trading a short uh, and this was on the six tick by the way so this is slightly higher than the four tick but then it took off so I then enter this trade thank you very much and away oh, whoops my entry was here that's right I took the, the t12 there and I got stopped in fact I just shouldn't have really taken that trade but I did now I then missed a t3 now a t3 is yes it is a counter trend move but it's also a very profitable um, uh, setup now the t3 is based upon imagine an elastic band getting stretched right back and you don't always have divergence with it you don't need to but once again uh, there's a distance we, we quickly measure between the high of the highest candle and our 34 EMA 
and we take that but I missed that one uh, just there once again with my members in the live trading room or coaching if I miss a trade I'll tell them and I'll explain why I missed it whether I was distracted or whatever it's how you learn so down we come and I then jumped on uh, trade number seven went to break even but still that was 325 on one contract well and truly above our average daily target aha this is the trade I was looking for okay well, I thought there was a, another uh, odd one so a few hours later on the same day on the six tick on the same chart uh, I can't remember if we're wrapping up or what we're no I took that in the room that's right I had this 3b set up and this is just a, a beautiful B uh, um, uh, 3b and then I had a couple of t3s which I want to explain and so I took this uh, 3b and the error I made was this see so the swing low over here now we call this by the way a two-legged pullback You'll see this nearly every you, well. You'll see it every single day when you've got angulation. See that there? We that's called angulation. Very simple concept. All it means is that price action is trending strongly away from the other moving averages. Okay, so we call angulation, and that usually means we're ripe for a pullback or a reversal. Now the error I made there was when you've got these now here I jumped in seven steps thank you very much but in fact I could have squeezed out another three or four steps there which really adds to your bottom line because when we take a trade there's a couple of things we ask do we have blue skies ahead and what I mean by that is there anything in front of me that may stop my trade well here I had a pivot that's what that red line is but I had a great downtrend and then I look at where's my last major swing low and when you get these major swing lows they act like price magnets so and the reason I took this as, a, as an example here is just to mention I should have extended my target here we then had a beautiful t3 set up a reversal where once yes we had a wee bit of divergence as you had a little bit of divergence there um, uh, and that was a beautiful move now it wasn't on it by the way but it was a t3 and we had a t3 there that went sideways for a little while um, and then it came on down now up here a stop goes one tick above on this time frame now on the NQ I now call it the nifty NAS I used to call it the nasty NAS so I've tried to reframe the meaning but um, it can be quite a uh, very very whippy so there's a few things you got to watch but when I'm under an eight tick chart I'll just have my stop loss generally unless it's a runaway market uh, one tick above or one tick below now as we're moving on I'll try to be quick here what you've got to have traders is I was talking before to you about having a target initially of $100 a day now by having targets and goals um, it's so important you see traders this is a business and I know some of you are going oh yeah here we go but you know what if you don't have a target and I can guarantee you're probably not going to make it and I'm sorry I'm not meant to be insulting I've trained over 10,000 traders now. it's fact if you're you know it with trading you can't kick the can you're either committed or you're not you're either committed to trading if you're merely interested in trading as an interest part-time you're not going to make it as a day trader probably I know this I know I'm fairly direct and I know some of these stuff you are I'm not going to buy your course okay I'm don't I don't care the bottom line is traders you've got to be committed which means having a trading plan now I'm talking to you here about really having an account size of of three and a half thousand to four thousand dollars what if you don't have that you start on the micro you only need 350 to 400 dollars you go for 20 dollars a day now this spreadsheet here you can actually download just just go down below in the description link and you can download this I'm not sure how my IT guys have it set up but you can download the spreadsheet and so what this allows you to do is to play around and there's a certain way you've got to do this by the way so here um, 
uh, if we weren't so if we were trading four thousand dollars and you said okay I'm gonna focus on at least three hours a day and I know my stuff okay that is you, you you've learnt the setups you focused your discipline okay and you target $300 a day what this tells me then if you got a 4,000 account you got the potential within eight weeks you are trading 10 contracts and earning $12,000 a week how this spreadsheet works traders is you only start and let's drop this down to $100 you only start trading an additional contract once you double your money so when you go from 4 to 8 you start trading 2 when you go from 8 to 12 you can start trading 3 when you go from 12 to 16 you start trading 4 all based that $100 a day after commissions now what it really means here is that within 30 weeks I then have also the potential of still earning my 10,000 a week it might be 5 or whatever your target is unfortunately traders will say oh what if I go and earn 600 whoops uh, $600 a day traders get real unless you're experienced and you're really good at what you do that is not the reality and what you're actually doing is you're shaking your confidence okay and confidence you're not picking that up discipline patience and focus now as I'm about to show you here my target on a four thousand dollars book and I actually trade it at a much lower percentage what this actually means here is on this table we assume you never ever risk any more than two percent I trade it only 0.5 to one percent depending on the number of contracts and that suits my style it means I've got a lower rate of return but you can still trade very safely taking trend trades risking two percent but no more than two percent so on the market and we're going to flip over in a moment and look at the chart well actually uh, look I might even jump and do a second video on this because we're already at, at 30 minutes but here we can see traders that on $200 a day within 13 weeks you're earning your 10 grand a week USD on starting out with only 4,000 but if you don't have 4,000 you start on the micro and what you can see here is by 11 weeks I've now got $4,000 in my account and I can flip that over and start trading the big contract my capital is built up time will pass anyway traders okay now here if you started on that basis allowing 350 okay uh, and roll over and trade um, and look 4,000 is perfect but you can do it still comfortable three and a half thousand within 22 weeks you've got that potential now this is not including your time on the simulator but the question is where will you be in 22 weeks allow yourself 90 to 180 days to master the art on the simulator time's going to pass anyway and this is where traders break the rules now these are the key, key considerations traders we need to be considering and I will have to finish here because we're out of we're a bit nearly at the 30 minute mark but these are what we need to be considering we need to be checking regularly where are our pivot levels where are the days the prior days open high low and close levels where are our major EMAs particularly being the 89 and 200 EMAs why they act as price magnets where are the intraday swing highs and lows and I pointed out a swing before where we went down and we bounced there and where's the current day days high and low all of these levels traders are what we call predictive levels now most indicators are what we call lagging they're predicated on price plotting okay, where you've then got predictive indicators which plot in advance that is pivot levels all of these levels now I know EMAs are based upon price but they become predictive because so many traders trade them so uh, and I might just very quickly just show you something here on the chart just for two minutes okay on this what I've got here and this is um, six, uh, 1800 um, uh, so 6 p.m. Central Standard Time what we've got here traders is this is evil trading when we are sideways how do we tell 
when we've got a trend we can tell we've got a trend when we're making higher highs and higher lows we'll come back here higher highs and higher lows higher highs and higher lows that's a trade that's a trade that's a trade now the white paint bar you see there is called my super scalper now when you start to get this double tops okay we generally start to look at reversals or deeper pullbacks as we've got here and this is called a 3b but what I want to show you just here is we've got a bit of a bounce we're now about to uh, what we're bouncing here we haven't quite made a lower high yet now that's where price is hours away by the way so ignore that but now I've got a new lower low just like I had a sorry lower high so we sell down there so now here I've got a lower high and down whoops what was going to happen here and we just got stopped out of that trade why we're selling right at the 200 and I'm just looking at the comments up here <laughs> from one of our members in the room we were discussing flat major EMAs as he says the 200 EMA is the devil <laughs> but you can also use the 200 to make money this is what you're now looking for when you're trading and you're in chop like this flat 200 how we identify the start of a new trend is by here we want to see a new lower low thank you very much so as I'm coming down like this okay so we've come down like this and now I'm looking for a pullback nearly always this is called by the way a fanning of the EMAs this is what you want to trade so as I pull back here I'm looking for a trade up here and you'll get a trade up there 90% of the time so we're pulling back pulling back now that white paint bar there that does not plot until now what you would see there is a red paint bar initially or just a red candle I should say a red brick and we call that you'll get ready get set go okay now my entry is going to be just below there now you can enter using what we call the rule of one where you're in on the close of the first candle and I'll show you something in a moment how we know when those candles are going to close okay so I'll show you that in a sec so I'll just go another two minutes on this so now I've got a short I'm after what we call seven steps okay so I'm after seven steps now in this market if we're trading and let's just say here we're going for let's just be let's just keep it conservative $200 a day per car per contract a seven step move is $70 less your commission so to average here and that would give me by the way $260 a day I only need three to four of those a day and I'm kicking butt three to four a day now remember that's giving me um, two to 200 to 250 a day now you can scalp with smaller trades and unfortunately I don't have time to go through all the different scenarios here but we're after seven steps so let's see how we go one two three four five whoops now there we only hit one two three four I'm not a break even yet pulls back that was four five six seven now just because I've hit seven does not mean I'm filled I need to go a little bit lower uh, and it went down a couple of ticks so that's good so there is my first seven step move okay so what have we got happening here we've got a fanning of the EMAs I'm totally ignoring any divergence here at this stage because we're just crossing under a 200 and what you don't see here traders is we'd also have whoops and you can't see it there uh, because it's behind the PowerPoint but I've got an anchor chart that we'd be looking at as well so let's look for a retracement we pull back we pull back now as we're pulling back note the downtrend what am I expecting a bounce I'm expecting a bounce once and there it is right there here is my next trade entry one two three four five I'm now at break even six seven 
eight now or not quite eight I've now hit my seven steps thank you very much now this is important that you learn how to trade from the right hand side of the chart now on the NQ initially you want to make sure you get the super scalper set up that is a no trade zone a flat 200 EMAs are evil how do you break no you're broken out new lower low new lower high so pull back pull back pull back okay we're pulling back that quite possibly is what we call a 2d by the way a divergence spray but we're going to organize uh, uh, forget those for now we're pulling back now as we pull back we're almost certainly going to get either a bounce at the 200 or what we call an overshoot and a bounce we've just recently crossed under the 200 let's look for another short trade okay right at the 200 traders we see this every day look over here see you bounce on the 200 you bounce on the 200 the 89 almost the 200 we get these every day they're predictive setups now we pull back to the 200 where's my entry okay I'm going to enter on the close of the third candle now there is something else we can do we can wait for the anchor chart one candle to close if you want insurance okay and I won't get into that today now where's my stop go one tick above now remember on your super dom on your matrix depending which trading platform you've got you can code all of this in and this is what I love about scalping I automatically go to break even I automatically take profits at levels that's what I prefer to do that suits me but there are times when I might decide to go for a larger target because I might have a pivot below let's uh, look at that down here let's scroll down what else have I got down below uh, that there is the current day's low now all of these indicators become predictive indicators because so many traders trade them but that's also a long way away at this stage by the way so I'm not going to target that but what I've got here is what I call a 200b it's also known as a 3b and just down here I've got a low a swing low what you'll find is when you get these swing lows substantial ones uh, so many of us professionals will target those so if you want to go for a larger target now's the time to do that now as I mentioned I like to front run that is go for um, a smaller target that is I'll get out perhaps at the body here uh, if I was trading I'm not on a trade here but if I was I'd get out a wee bit earlier now I'm going to be in up here so I'm already in two steps two whoops that's not good I'm already in two three four five whoops just down to what's that three four five now I'm now at break even now what I do have to check no I still was kept in and what I want to point out is if you've got a break even say of five steps what can actually be a real bummer sometimes this price comes up back to your break even level then continues back down that can be a real pain so uh, I think it was five six seven eight now here I would probably be out somewhere around oh, look at that there okay somewhere around that level okay so traders this is trading with the trend now trading with the trend is easy but it also means you need to be patient you've got to wait for the setups now I've covered a great deal in today's session and, and it, I didn't spend enough time as I wanted to on the charts here but traders this is a business and the unfortunate part about it is traders have this false expectation that you know let's go out and make 500 600 dollars a day quickly traders get rich slowly that is have sensible targets sensible rules based setups all of the rules that all of the trades that I set up are, or, or trade are patterns that are easy to learn 
so trade is for $197 you can come and join me get all of my um, materials all of the PowerPoints videos and you can come and join me in eight sessions now that's 16 hours of private coaching now uh, in in my group now typically yes there's a hundred people there but you might only get five or ten that are active and asking questions so it doesn't get unruly uh, and after the first month you may hopefully decide to continue and I've been doing these for uh, and just on that point I might just start quickly just as we finish up just want to show you this here um, so I've been running these sessions for years now okay so I've been doing these so we're about to hit February so we're in January 2024 and by the way in the coaching sessions um, in these sessions uh, what you get let me just pull this down here uh, in each session there is a there's handouts there's PowerPoints now we never ever get through them all by the way we never so when I talk about something being comprehensive there's literally nothing like this I'll go through labeled charts and explaining the setups and the EMAs and so I give these to the members and they're up being updated all the time in fact have we got today's PowerPoint uh, was that in I was in the cheat sheets today so what I actually do and, and it's important you see this so uh, down here where is it down here um, I will then uh, virtually every day so we'll have set oops not that's not going to do I've got to um, download that so I'm bad to show you but I've got new um, uh, slides I add to them regularly um, so once again keeping you up to date you see successful day trading it's a journey it's not a destination uh, it's about you know having a coach and mastering the art now you can do it in time but then being kept up to date anyway I'm going on a bit so traders uh, come and join us as a member look forward to seeing you in a coaching session um, uh, and of course uh, you can also um, get information I've got a live trading room I run the live trading room three mornings a week but anyway traders thanks very much uh, and where's that PowerPoint gone doesn't matter once again on the link below come and join me see you in our next session traders I love day trading cheers everyone